Hi, this is Professor Serge Lessert. In this short video, we will look at quality management systems and focus specifically on the inventory river analogy. The inventory river analogy is a story about how inventory investment causes problems such as inefficiencies, waste, and so on to be hidden from the system. As we see in this diagram here, the rocks are the problems, and the water itself is the inventory. Operations management is concerned with three major issues. Elimination of waste, reduction of process variability, and improving overall throughput. To that effect, many forms of quality management systems have surfaced to deal with those issues. Toyota Production System promotes continuous process improvement, respect for people, and standard work practices with two main objectives, world-class quality and elimination of waste. Lean as we know it today is a term coined by James Womack of MIT in the 1980s essentially to describe the Toyota production system. Six Sigma can be traced back to the 1920s with Walter Schuhart. Motorola and General Electric engineered a set of tools and techniques based on the work from Walter Schuhart and others in order to reduce process variability and remove causes of defects. The lean literature mentions eight categories of waste. Let's take overproduction which is making more than what is necessary. And inventory, which eventually needs to be stored someplace. These two together form the basis of the inventory river analogy. As previously stated, the water represents the inventory and the rocks represents all of the inefficiencies and waste, such as low productivity, scrapping, unconcerned management, quality issues, etc., etc., etc. As long as the water level is high enough and over the rocks, then smooth sailing takes place. However, the minute inventory level is reduced, some of those rocks will surface and disrupt smooth sailing. Through continuous process improvements, all of the rocks are eventually eliminated and the inventory level is as low as can be in order to make the organization as efficient or as lean as possible. Of course, in the process of eliminating those rocks, it can create some conflicts within an organization. Once those rocks are identified, people see their own organization or department under a new light as those inefficiencies are exposed for everyone to see. Management's role then is to communicate the value of improvement as the system itself changes for the better. In conclusion, W. Edwards Deming offered 14 key principles for management to follow for significantly improving the effectiveness of a business or an organization. And we see a few of them in this slide here. Many of those principles are philosophical, others are more pragmatic. All are transformative in nature. Those points, those 14 principles, were first presented in Deming's book, Out of the Crisis.